Hello everybody. Tonight's pour is going to be another car themed painting. Hot Wheels themed. Um, it's actually, the reason I said car themed is because this one is actually not a Hot Wheels. Um, but I'll get into that in just a second. First I wanted to kind of um, go kind of tell the story of how I came about doing Hot Wheels themed paintings. Um, it all started with a guy at work that I know. He asked for a Hot Wheels themed painting for his grandson for Christmas. and But we were just talking uh, the Hot Wheels colors. Um, and we came up with blue and orange. And so I, and we came up with the style um, that I had actually done this style before in different colors. And he liked it and that's what he wanted. He wanted it on a 12 by 36 canvas. And uh, he wanted it resined. And so I was like, that's cool, I can do that. So when I was at home thinking about it before I got to painting it, I came up this, that's when it hit me that the resin, when it hardens, it would hold those cars in place and they would not fall off the canvas when it's hung on the wall. I thought it was a great idea, but I wanted to make sure with him to see if he thought it was a, not a good idea or not. You know, he may not have wanted that at all. Uh, so. Um, I talked to him the next day. He loved the idea. The following day, he brought in two Hot Wheels, a blue one and a yellow, an orange one. And so um, I finished the painting. When right before I re before I was going to resin it, I took pictures of it in different spots on the painting, and took them into him the next day. Showed him. He got to choose where he wanted them. And he, so then that's where I put them when I did the painting. And then that's when I started, that's when all the ideas started coming in. And it wasn't just Hot Wheels that were hitting me. It was mostly Hot Wheels, cars, but I thought of uh, doing all sorts of things. Uh, I thought of uh, doing a, a jet and having kind of like the, when it does the, breaks the sound barrier, you know, and that big bloom comes out of, you know, I uh, thought about a bullet going, th you know, just putting a real bullet on the on the canvas. Um, of course, I thought of doing the Star Trek Enterprise, which I have done one of those, and Star Wars, which I've done one of those as well. If you've seen my stuff on Facebook, um, I have a Facebook page myself, Holiday Paintings, Holiday Paintings, like it's just like the my YouTube channel name. At, it's also my Instagram name, Instagram name. So if you want to go to those two, you can like the page, follow me. Um, and then you can be able to see everything that I do. Cause I post everything on those, those two platforms. I don't post, I'm just get really getting started on YouTube. So I don't post videos of everything that I do because I don't videotape every painting I do. I've just been doing these because a lot of people have asked me, how do you do those? Is there a creation video? And so that's why I started doing it. Um, so I try not to talk too much. I got some criticism on some comments on uh, talking too much, but I got thinking, hey, it's my channel, it's my video. It does have a fast forward button. You can skip past this part if you don't wanna. So do that, don't do that, don't watch. It's up to you, but I try to explain what I'm going to do and my creative process of it, I guess. Sometimes I go off on stuff, but you know, that's where you can fast forward. Uh, so now to get back on to what the video is going to be about tonight is a Harley Davidson themed painting. Unfortunately, I haven't found yet a motorcycle which is what I really want to do is because most Harley Davidson stuff is motorcycle related. Uh, but I did find a car that has Harley Davidson on it. The only thing that I don't like about this car is that it doesn't have, it has just a, a hint of orange on it, but it's got yellow. And I don't know if that was from old, old style logos. That I, I don't, all I've ever seen is, the orange and black. So 
And this car has yellow, but I'm going to put orange in the painting. I'm actually going to do an orange negative space with black and white flamed out or I don't know if I'm, well, not flamed out, but Dutch poured out. Now this is the car. Now let's see if you can see this. It does have the logo right there of Harley Davidson. Uh, it actually doesn't say Harley Davidson. It just has the shield type thing on it. And then it does say Harley Davidson. I don't know if you can read that. It's blurry. But it does say Harley Davidson right there. But the orange is just very, right on the top. I don't know if you can see it right on the top of that yellow. It's probably really hard to see on there. You might be able to see it. But uh, it does have this yellow. I would really wish it was just orange, but it's not. <clears throat> but we're going to fix that with by actually doing the negative space as is going to be orange. One reason is because my favorite color, as long as I can remember, has been orange. So as you can see in this painting here, it's got orange in it. Um, I go through bouts where I want to have orange and everything, <clears throat> but that's me. So I'm going to get started and uh, I got the paints and the flow trial mixed. And so let's get started on this painting. It's definitely going to be a bright colored painting, but I love orange. Oh yeah, look at that orange. I just love it. Uh, this would be my first one using an orange background. I just have to do one for myself. I'm sure my wife would say, it doesn't match anything in her house. You can't hang that. But I do have a nice black negative space one. Yeah, it's not orange negative space, but black and it has orange in it. And the Dutch pour that just turned out. Oh, just love it. And uh, it's hanging up in our living room. So at least we got one piece with some orange in it in there. So. I just kid. My wife is pretty good at letting me hang a lot of these up. We have quite a few hanging up over around our house. We got a three piece in the bedroom. She's got a few of my paintings in where she works. And there's a whole bunch around a desk and just off the kitchen. We have a little work desk area. And I have a bunch hanging there. It's kind of like a collage of paintings. No rhyme or reason, and they're all offset. I just hang them up. I just hammer a nail in, hang it up, and she doesn't really say anything about it. The one thing that we did do is one of the one of the paintings I did with Hot Wheels. Like I said, if you've seen my stuff on Facebook, it was uh, a white negative space. And it had kind of oranges and browns. And I just got orange all over me. But uh, it was a actually Dutch pour that did not turn out how I wanted it to. So I ended up swiping and it looks amazing. And but anyway, it has a car on it that has a 57 on the top on the on the top of the car. It's an old car. Well, the way it's I had another painting hanging above it that had a car going in the same direction, no number on it. But she says the 57 was upside down the way the car was going. 
so she would flip it around. So I'd come home, car, to me the car's going the wrong way, and so I would flip it back. And the next day I would come in, come home, and the car's flipped back over to where it's upside down again. So we had a little talk about it, and uh, she says it's upside down, and it you can't read it. I'm like, well, I, I can read it just fine, uh, but it's going the wrong way. It's not facing the same direction as the other cars, the other paintings. No, it's, it's upside down. You can't have it upside down. And so this went on for... I don't know a couple of weeks so then I changed the spots of the paintings and you have to actually climb up on a chair to change it so that stopped her for a couple days but she went she's actually taller than me I'm six foot she's six foot two but she still evidently climbed up on the chair and flipped it around and then finally I got tired of flipping it back around and I don't, I'm, it's probably upside down going the other way. I don't really remember now. I'd have to go look at it, but it was all, all in fun. There was never any anger or anything between the two of us. I think we just did it for fun. Um, that's just kind of how we are. So, <laughs> all right, I got the orange down. It is bright but I still like it so far. So I'm gonna put black and white, probably white on the outside, try to keep the black in the middle. And I'm probably gonna go maybe about right here and get thicker because I want it to fan out more. I'd actually thought about just doing a stripe down here. And then when this dries, painting black kind of in the shield I might do this at another time, but if you know the shield from the Harley Davidson logo, uh, maybe just painting it black to make it look like a shield. But uh, that's a little bit too much work for me at, at the moment, so I think I'm just gonna pass on that, but I'll keep it in the bank for later on when I feel like, or maybe when if somebody asked me to actually do a Harley Davidson themed one. Now usually I go a little, a little farther up on, farther up, but the reason I'm gonna go a little bit less back here, or not up so far is because I want it to, I don't want it to be too wide up here. So if I want the car farther, I can, I can get it tighter. I want it to be more out this way. So I'm going to put a little white like that. And then of course for a Dutch pour, put a little bit more orange paint around the negative space paint around. So it'll go like that. And if I don't use any more paint, I'll have paint to do another painting. I'll probably do an 8x10 and just make something. Now, when I do this, when I first started using hair dryer, I had it on cool, but I've, now I put it on hot. The heat will, I think it will help create cells. It's been working so far. Let me get a few of these bubbles out before I start.
Hmm, I'm not too crazy about it. Boy, this really turned kind of grayish in there, which I'm not really wanting, but that's what happens when you mix white and black. So I'm gonna get my straw and kind of blow this out a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was wanting, a little bit more orange in there. So I had to blow a little harder to get that out.
I'm just messing around with a little bit, trying to get it, uh, give a little bit of character to it, I guess. Um, so this is not exactly how I wanted to turn out. I think I say that on about every video I do, because that's usually just what happens. But, uh, yeah, it's a, I think the majority of this will be covered up with the car. Let's see if I can... So the car will probably be like here. So it will cover up because I don't want it way up here because it's and it's almost off the canvas. So I will probably put it about right there to where it's coming out. So... Give it a quick torch. All right, so this is this is going to be it. So um, <clears throat> I do like that I added was able to blow out and get this orange out a little bit more to break up this a little bit. Uh, I kind of got a little bit of that gray out of there. There's still some in there. Probably, hopefully some of that will sink as it dries, but I don't know. But I do like, like this type of stuff here, here, and this right in here with that kind of webbing look. Uh, cells popping up. Um, so yeah. So hopefully it'll turn out all right. I do like that the orange is the main color in this. So all right. Wait for this puppy to dry and then we can get it resin and get the car on it. All right, we're going to resin this uh, Harley-Davidson themed painting. And uh, <clears throat> usually the resin pulls out the colors. I'm, I'm thinking it's really going to brighten up this orange even more, which is all right with me. So let's get it going. Now I tried to get all the stuff out of all the resin out of this because I reuse this cup and as you use reuse it I like it because it has the ounces on the side so I can measure evenly or at least try to get it evenly and when you use a cup over and over when the resin heart if you leave more resin in there of course runs back down to the bottom and hardens up well then all of a sudden this one was a new one because all of a sudden my the cup I've been using 
is up over two or three inches of res or two or three ounces of resin or at least up over the two or three ounce mark of the resin or the cup in resin so then you know you have to do math to you have to do math to figure out how many ounces which i was always good at math so it's no big deal but some people may not like it and i usually do this at the end of the day because uh mostly because i don't want to take away time from my my family my wife we're empty nesters but you know, so I'll try to spend time with my wife and not just, you know, leave her down there by herself. So, and uh, she goes to bed fairly early, so I usually wait till she goes to bed. And then I can, I can do the resining after that or painting. Cause I stay up a little bit later than she does. So, so sometimes I don't want to do math late at night. So, but that's why I clean out the clean out the thing. Plus you want to get all the resin you, you can. So, cause it is expensive. So today was a good day. I had a show I had done last fall. Of course, uh, you know, I have a business card. People take my card all the time. And a lot of people will say, hey, I want you to do a commission piece for me. I'll, I'll, I'll be calling you or I'll be emailing you in a couple of days and we'll, you know, some of them talk to me about exactly what they want there at the show and I always tell them to email me with the details of what we talked about. So I have that information and I know what exactly they want and what to do with the paint for them. But I, there was a, I was at a school in the Indianapolis area, and the guy worked there at the school. I think he was the music director, and uh, I had a 12 by 36 canvas piece. It was black on the bottom, white on the top, and then I Dutch poured like half and half. Uh, purples and golds going into the white and going into the black and uh, he really liked it and but he wanted a three piece but I didn't have it in I didn't have three piece pieces of that particular style and color so he wanted me to do a three piece but he also didn't want purple he wanted blue instead of purple and he wanted more gold than what I had in this one and so I said I can do that and he wanted it on for you artists out there he wanted it on a level I I get most of my canvas my bigger canvases from Michaels because of the because of the 70% off but they have level one level two and level three canvases now like this one is a level one so it's i think it's a quarter inch thick 
and he wanted a level three, which is an inch thick and naturally more expensive. And he wanted it resined and he was going to, he actually wanted to pay me right then. I told him not to pay me right, right at the moment because I wanted to get it done and see if he even liked it first. I am learning that I probably should take half the money and then, then do the piece. And then if they never get a, get a hold of me, then I've not wasted my canvases and on, on some pieces that people are not following up on and taking. Because I would say probably just about every show I have somebody that wants me to do something for them and then they never get back with me. Well, I took this guy a little bit more seriously because he actually wanted to pay right then. So I gave him my card and uh, he was going to email me. And uh, of course I never heard from him, but I, I did do the piece the only because I knew he was serious because if he want, he was wanting to pay for it ahead of time. And so I, I got to thinking about it and then I, I hadn't heard from him. So I'm like, well, you know, but what I did was I went to the school's website and I found him on the, on the staff and they all have email. So I emailed him with a picture of the finished product. I hadn't resined it yet, but I had painted it. And so I wanted to know if he was still interested. And if not, it still was a nice looking piece and I would probably end up selling it to somebody else. But, uh, I still wanted to see if he was interested in it at all. Give him first crack at it since it was his colors and and uh, I didn't hear anything back for I don't know three or four days, and I, he finally did respond back, and he was excited that I got a hold of him because he had lost my card. And he had talked to the person that put on the show there at the school, because it was a school fundraiser, and uh, they told him my address, or gave him my name, and so he tried to email me, but if, as some of you might have noticed, my last name is Holiday, and it is spelled with two L's instead of one like in a like a Christmas holiday type thing you know so he was sending emails to to Brad Holiday with one L and of course I was not getting them and uh, so he was excited that I I had reached out to him and so then he decided that he didn't want him resin. So I gave him the price on that and he said, that's fine. So I said, I'll have him done by this weekend. And and uh, what I do when I don't resin them is I do spray a glossy enamel on them. Um, to give them, to help protect the paint and to give them a shine. And uh, so I was able to spray the, all three pieces and get a nice coat on them uh, this weekend. And then, so then I drove back to the school, met him there today um, after church. I was able to go to church this morning and then I went out to eat afterwards I was able to eat at uh, wasabi which is a place where um, close by to where I live and it is 
like a hibachi bar and sushi. So I was able to have sushi for lunch. I decided to treat myself with some sushi today. My, my wife was out of town this weekend for to watch the grandkids. She was over in Illinois. She got back this evening. It's another another reason I really wanted to spend some time with her because I hadn't seen her in a couple days. Sorry, there's a piece right there that just doesn't want to go away. And so, but anyway, so I was able to drive over there into the Indianapolis area to this school and met him in the parking lot and, uh, and ex got him the, the painting, which he really did like. And, uh, And he paid me, and I was able to sell a painting today, which is always good. And a big piece, a big painting, three and a three piece. So that is always good. So my wife made it back home safely. Got to spend some time with my wife, and uh, so it was all around a good day. church, sushi, sell a painting, and have my wife return back home safely. It was a good Sunday. And now I'm going to finish up another painting. Oh, I just love the orange. I'm actually wearing an orange shirt. Not quite as bright as this, but I love orange, as I've said before. So here's the car I'm going to use. It does have the Harley Davidson on there. It has the Harley Davidson right there. So I've decided to place it over this black part here. Because if I place it way up here, it's basically at the end of the canvas. And we don't want it hanging over the canvas. Definitely, and I don't really want it at the end of the canvas either, so I'm going to have to move it down quite a bit. But the car will cover up a good part of that, so I'm going to set it right in there. I'm going to move it over just a bit, it's not going to be quite centered. I want to kind of cover up some of that black there. There's nothing hanging out here. And maybe we can leave that there. Maybe we'll have a little bit of black there. Maybe from the front tire. Alright, so that's it. I really do wish this had yellow. Or, not yellow. I wish it didn't have yellow. I wish it had the orange. Um, I think that would, that's the only thing in this that I don't really like is that yellow in the, on that car. If it was orange, I think it would be, uh, so much better, but all right. So what do you think? This is the, the Hot Wheels Harley Davidson one, my first Harley Davidson one. And I am still out looking for, uh, the motorcycle, a Harley Davidson motorcycle die cast so I can do another one in a motorcycle.